Hi guys, it's Drew with Northridge Community Church. Um, today I wanted to show you another uh, feature that the new firmware 2.0.1 added to the X32. Um, and we are really going to be noticing that here on the gate and the dynamics. So um, I'm going to zoom out to the big board here. We are listening to my voice here and we're looking at the gate and dynamics section of the board. So we can press our view button and be able to pull that up on the LCD screen. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get in a little bit closer on the LCD screen so we can view this. So um, they have added this blue dot, which is awesome. Um, because now we can have a visual representation of where our volume is on the graph uh, for the gate or the dynamics. Um, so we can see right here that as I'm talking, um, once I'm reaching that point, it starts... Um, lowering the overall volume of my channel or compressing it. Um, and on the gate, we can see when it starts reaching below my threshold point. And then it starts enabling the, um, the gate to start closing. So I'm going to put this to a really short release time. And so this is normally not what we would want on a voice, just because it, it's a very very uh, abrupt, <laughs> if you will. So um, we can see that when I am uh, moving this, uh, the threshold up and down, we are changing where this is going. Uh, so we can scroll this up to where it's gonna be right there. So we can see that my channel volume is this little blue dot. And then now it once it drops below this threshold point, it will then cut out and mute the channel with the gate. So I'm going to turn the release time a little bit back up here so we can listen to me a little bit better. Um, but what's nice is when I have a microphone that is just sitting uh, in open air, it still will have a little bit of background noise. And so I'm going to stop talking here and so you can see that there is some noise. So I just went ahead and turned the gate off by pressing this button here for active. Um, and so we can really listen to the background noise that you can hear down here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the threshold all the way down. And then I'm going to go ahead and activate this. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this threshold up. And we'll start seeing this, um, this little point right here moving up on this screen. And we will be able to see with this blue dot when we start passing that threshold. Right there. And so now you can't hear that background noise. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the gate off. Pretty cool. And then we can also see that on the compressor. So I'm going to go ahead and vary my threshold here. Let's really compress my voice a lot. So you can see that my voice is being really compressed because it's going up this ladder very, very quickly. Or if I have it very high here, it won't compress um, because my little blue dot isn't reaching the threshold point up here. So we can now turn the threshold point down until we start compressing my voice a little bit. Hey, check, check, check. And that way, when you have a, a, a speaker that's speaking, you can have a visual representation on your dynamics um, to show you where you want to start compressing. Um, so it gives it a little bit more visual sense on the uh, gate and the dynamics. So if you have any questions, feel free to uh, let me know, post below, and uh, or send me an email. Thank you.